Hello everyone, welcome to Nero Studio tutorial. As I promised last night, uh, we're gonna be making all the projects that you have. Basically today I'm gonna be making this, let me pause this, and I'm gonna be making all the projects that you have in this preview. Make sure to read the information if you want to download or, you know, support me this with this package, the Puzzle Motion Elements Pack. And also, as I mentioned yesterday, we updated this Dynamic Color Transition Pack total free you can go ahead and download if you download the the puzzle motion pack will come with this uh, pack also but this is universal language so you don't have to be changing the premiere pro language but if you have the free version definitely you have to change the premiere pro language i have a video on my youtube channel you can go ahead and check let me go back into premiere and let's see how we can apply this and create this nice effect or project you know that's what i decide to call puzzle motion elements because it contains a lot of pieces that we can put all together at the end we can have this beautiful project so let me open this i already have my two packages in my uh, essential graphics panel as you see all my uh, you know my dynamic color transition pack and also the puzzle motion elements pack uh, so as I said, you can make the you can watch the video we uploaded last night, and you will see how to install in After Effects and also in Premiere Pro. I'm using the 2019. Make sure to have the 2019 13.1, and the After Effects must have the 16.0. That's the latest version 2019, and you can go ahead and use those. Now let me go and show you something. This package uh, you can use with 2017, 18, and 19. Only this is only for 2019 and make sure to keep in mind this. Going back to Premiere, so I'm gonna go ahead the project that we have in here. We see this at the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create. When you pay for or you purchase the package, you will have this three folders, as I say. Make sure to check the video, how to install and just open this After Effects project. So the first thing or first step is to change the logos because as I said, you know, you would like to have your logo instead of having my own and you know, or your photo. So how do I change this? So that's what I'm saying. You must have After Effects. So here is the list. Only those eight templates must be changed the logo. All of the other templates, you know, you don't have to do anything. Even if you don't want to open After Effects, you don't have to, you know, because all of them is basically ready to use only in Premiere. But if you want to have all the uh, logo, you know, your own image or your logo, so you have to go and change. So how do I change this? For example, I'm gonna use in this uh, project, I'm gonna use this uh, called uh, you know, 008 logo objects reveal circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think which is this. As you see, I still have my image. So how do I change an After Effects? So it's easy. That's what I tried to do the easiest way for you. As you know, you can guide by the numbers. That's what I put the numbers. So if we go back to Premiere, as you see, 008, and you will see, and you can, you know, uh, look for another one which has the image, and it will have the numbers first, and that's easy to look and after Effects. So let me go and After Effects. And this is the way to change. So you can change all of those eight elements. You can change the image. So let me go ahead and look for the number 008. So we should have in here. If I double click and you will have this. So let me just play. And this is what we have. As you see, we got the image and also the effect popping up like, you know, the logo. So in here, how do I change the logo? So the easiest way is make sure to select this and will be the process, you know, for all of them. So going to file and you already know how to import files and After Effects. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna choose this. Definitely you have to choose your logo or image. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. And as you see, we got this in this folder. So where we can change the image is where it says image logo. So I'm gonna go ahead. All of them are named image. So you can go ahead and double click. As you see, here we got the image. We don't have any animation here. So you can just go ahead and drag and drop this. And also you can just delete this if you want, or you can just uncheck, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, we got the image. And also I think this is a little bit uh, too big so we can just hit the S on the keyboard. That's the shortcut and it's scroll down a little bit, you know. And if we go back to the main project and you will have the image changed, you see. So as I said, that's the uh, way and option to change all the logos 
I mean, uh, the image in those uh, eight templates. So for example, in the, uh, for example, the 120. So let me go ahead and look for 120. So I'm gonna just close this, go all the way down, go all the way down. So I guess 120, I was saying, so double click, as you see this, uh, you know, the, it says image, the same thing. You can go ahead and just, uh, you know, make sure and check this and go ahead and drag and drop the image you know, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and import the same image actually. I already have it in here, so I can go ahead and you see, you can just go and, you know, and make sure to uncheck this and check this and you will have the image. Make sure it's scaled down a little bit, you know, and go to the main and you will have it, you see. So you got different image than my own. So you will have your photo or your image and then. So how do you export this? So let me go ahead and open the eight because the number, the 008, that's what we're working on. So let me go and look for the number eight. It's this, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click and here we got. So make sure, you know, let me close all those projects so I don't want any confusions in here. So let me go ahead and, so how do I change or how do I export to After Effects, I mean to Premiere after we change, as you see, we change the logo. So we can go ahead and window, make sure if you don't have the essential graphics uh, checked, so you can go ahead and check, you know, so let me go back in and check back as you see. So in here where it says master, that's uh, where we can uh, go ahead and look for the number. As I say, it's easy to look by the numbers. That's what I decide to do by the numbers first. And as you see, we already have them. So you don't have to touch anything in here. Just go ahead and, you know, make sure the image is replaced and go ahead and pick on the master, pick the name or the, the template number and go ahead and export motion graphic template. Make sure save. Uh, when you, once you save, you can go ahead and wait and we'll pop up this and make sure I suggest to save in the local drive and a folder that you can use and reuse. So you don't have to be come back in on to After Effects again. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go and export direct to my Premiere, which I have this folder. As I said yesterday, I show you how to install. So make sure I'm gonna replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So I'm gonna cancel for now. And also this is it's, it's warning. Make sure to, you know, click OK because it's saying if you don't have installed the font, so we, this will, Ask and Premiere Pro. So make sure to click OK and also make sure to install the fonts first before opening anything. And then that's it. You can close up the effects or you can minimize. So I'm going to go back to Premiere and here we got the empty project and Premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the image so you can use any image you want. I'm going to go ahead and control. So I'm going to scale down a little bit because it's a little big. And then we can go ahead and look for the you know, the, I think the first we have to, so the way to look in here is you can open this uh, or you can scroll and you will see by the numbers and names. So you can see also the thumbnails easy to find, but if you want some specific, you can go like in this project. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the, uh, 047. I think that's the particles we use. As you see, we, we can easy find in here. So let me go drag and drop. And as I said, this is 4k. So I'm going to go ahead, right click make sure scale to frame size and into the essential graphics panel we got the settings so we can change the color as well so let me just go ahead and change white for this case and also we can go ahead and play with the opacity for this i'm going to go ahead in here but we have another settings as you see a scatter speed and grid spacing so you can play with this and also we can go ahead and look for another one that we used in here which is the i think let me go to browse let me clean this search bar and look for the 046 I guess and let me go ahead and yep so I'm gonna go ahead drag and drop right here maybe so I'm gonna leave right there and also make sure to you know scale to frame size or you can go and you know make sure in here 50 percent is a lot of options in there then what we can do is go ahead and pull the logo which is the 008. Remember, we just uh, uh, customized an After Effects and, uh, you know, added the, replaced the image. So if I pull, you will see with different image. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, 
and scale to frame size. If you are using 4K, you don't have to do this because I'm doing this 1080p, that's what I have to scale to the half, you know, 50%. Uh, and here we go, as you see, we got different image, so you wouldn't have the same that we have in the, in the preview, a different image. So that's the way we can change any image or logo you want. So as you see, and here we go. So in here we can play a little bit. In this case, the background, I'm gonna kind of like uh, white maybe. And also the uh, logo background, the same thing. And so, and here we got two options. We got the opener one and we got the opener two. I'm gonna go ahead and play with opener one. So you will see the difference as you see, comes in and goes out as you see but if we pick the opener 2 basically it just uh, you know just opens out and that's it and also how do I uh, you know customize the the brass or the accent in here so that we have in here let me just go ahead and make sure right here right there so let me go and click this so we got options you know we can uh, you know make sure change the color in here in this case I'm gonna go and use a white color and also we got the shape settings if we go all the way down we got the shape settings uh, you know inside this uh, folder so we can play with the you know the points and you can oh uh, you know a lot of shapes and uh, shapes in here so I'm gonna go ahead for example in here I got 100% if I go like mm, six points let me just see as you see let me just pay attention to this so let me go and maybe 100% just show you how what I'm talking about as you see if you want different uh, uh, shapes so you can go ahead and let, let's say for example three and you will see how it changed to the you know this uh, like triangle so I'm gonna go ahead and leave maybe seven uh, points and you see all of them you can change and also you can change the color if you want the same color so I'm gonna go ahead and pick white and also we're gonna go and change all of them white okay if i'm gonna go and fit to the camp and you will have this and then this is what we have till now and let me go ahead and keep adding some elements that's what i decide to call puzzle because it contains elements that you can put uh, to get those pieces at the end you will have the nice project and let me go ahead and add another one which is the 007 that I used in this project so let me go and browse and clean this and look for 007 uh, yep let me just uh, pull this down make sure to you know uh, right click as uh, scale to frame size and you will have this so you don't have to do anything else just drag and drop you see and you will have this nice looking project and you can go ahead and change the color but i'm gonna leave this because i have the same color kind of like yellow uh, blue and uh, looking like the logo as you see so i'm gonna leave it right there and also we're gonna go ahead and add another element i'm gonna go browse and go into and i say maybe i think it's 009 let me just go ahead and make sure yep this is what we're looking for so i'm gonna just drag and drop maybe right here so you can just see maybe when the logo shows up and we can start showing the circle so let me go ahead and scale frame and you will see this you know so you can have this nice animation and then we can go ahead and definitely look and change the color you know if you want different color or if you don't want or you can have the same color as well you know and also you can just uh, you know the truck with so you can just play with as you see and also you can just um, maybe have the same size that we have as I said and also you can go ahead and make sure change another color if you don't like the white one and make sure also the opacity if you don't want you can just uh, you know just drag it down all the way to zero and you will take them out you know the uh, stroke so I don't want, I don't want this actually you know what so let me just go and the opacity basically okay so that's the way we create those projects as i said i as i promised last night i will be creating all of them so make sure this is the project one tomorrow we will be making the project two so you will have an idea how to use the puzzle motion element and premiere as i said make sure if you want to change the the logo and after effects so those eight elements must be changed in after effects the, those are the only elements that you have to change as I said the other ones you don't have to go back to after effects 
it's ready to use in Premiere Pro. So as I said, make sure to check the video and you know and see all the um, elements that we have or project that we created with this package. And as I say, we will be making all of them as this nice for the end and end uh, uh, project as you see. And you will have all of them. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna be make the second, then the third, the fourth, so on. So make sure to keep in tune. So if you do enjoy the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on the social media network, uh, Facebook and Twitter. And make sure, you know, check me my website for more free stuff that we will be uploading. Thanks so much and see you tomorrow.